All right, let's go to Thursday now, uh, where we've got uh, the uh, TCU Horned Frogs and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. How about a little Big 12 action on Thursday night? Uh, Texas Tech three-point home favorites, 58, 58 and a half being the uh, total uh, here in this game. Uh, it looks like the weather is going to be fine uh, in uh, Lubbock uh, for this matchup here on Thursday night with the uh, TCU and Texas Tech. If you look at TCU, this team has just been all over the map this year, you know, as far as their uh, results uh, are concerned. Uh, you look at the quarterback situation as well. It's likely going to have to be Josh Hoover uh, once again at quarterback with uh, Chandler Morris uh, still out for the uh, TCU side due to uh, injuries. We'll see if they're able to overcome uh, that situation. Uh, TCU coming off just a beatdown at the hands of Kansas State, 41-3. to They got absolutely annihilated by Kansas State in their last game. Texas Tech is struggling, too. They've lost two in a row. They also lost to Kansas State 38-21, and they had a 27-14 loss uh, at BYU as well. But they were down to Jake Strong, who's basically the third quarterback uh, on the uh, depth chart. I uh, should call him Jake Weak or Jake not so strong because he hasn't been very good here for uh, Texas Tech since taking over. They badly need Baron Morton back. And the good news for Texas Tech, there is some good news coming off the bye week. It looks like Joey McGuire indicating that uh, Baron Morton was able to practice fully on Sunday and is probable for this game. So it looks like Texas Tech will get Baron Morton back at quarterback. And at least with Baron Morton, this is a competent, capable offense which you can't say with Strong. Strong was just not ready. You could tell he was indecisive, bad decisions. Uh, his accuracy left a lot to be desired. At least with um, Baron Morton, you have some kind of track record here of him being able to score points and lead the offense. You know, he played pretty well in the game against Baylor, where they won 39-14. The game against Houston, he started that game. He led Texas Tech to 49 points uh, in that game. So uh, Baron Morton, to me, when I grade the comparison and the difference between Strong and Baron Morton, it's a huge difference. Because Strong was terrible, and at least you know with Baron Morton, this team can move the football a little bit. So I actually think with Morton coming back, I like Texas Tech here, laying minus three at home uh, in this game. I would lean over as well with him coming back. Question's going to be, what do you get from the TCU offense? Because uh, you look at Hoover, he had a good game against BYU, but there were some turnovers from BYU that kind of inflated that score. And Hoover against Kansas State was completely shut down uh, and really struggled. So what version of the TCU offense are you going to get? So I lean over. I probably like the side more, though. I like Tech in this spot, especially with Morton back on the field. What do you think here, C-Mac? Let's hit the, the chat real quick. Our uh, guy Rance, Truth Teller, DC Capper, Jeffrey Moore. Yeah, I, I gave out the Lions last, what was it, Tuesday on the radio, first half. I'm on it, so I don't blame you. I love it. Um, Dom, who else is in here? James S. Good to see you, my dude. Mikey M. Check out his show later. Last call for alcohol, six Eastern. Wine time, my guy. Good to see you up in here. A few others. Uh, Kyle, thanks for the nice words uh, there. Appreciate it. All right, let's get to this one. As long as Morton, and I think he is a go, like you were just talking about, I like Texas Tech, and the two and a halfs are gone. I don't see a ton. Here, I got to look it up, but I don't see a lot. They're all gone to three here in this game. Hoover's just not been good. He wasn't good last week, and they got gashed TCU on the ground, like 343 yards, just not very good from them. I don't think they have a great defense. It's, you'd think they're going to play better here this week, but they just haven't been very good on the road, and I, I can't back them. Morton's in. I'm on Texas Tech to get a, you know, a win here. I love it. Late. 